Multiple sclerosis is a disease that robs people of their mobility and independence. That's why Connecticut Adaptive Cycling is dedicated to helping those with MS. Joining me today are Ken Messier from Tie Trikes and Adaptive Cycling and Louise Roach, a cyclist diagnosed with MS. Welcome. It's great to have you with Hi. us. Thank you. So, Louise, let's talk about your story. When were you diagnosed with MS? In 1979. And how did you know that? Did you have symptoms? That you, I did. You did. I had optic neuritis. I couldn't see out of my left eye. Nope. And then you did what after that? Did and you? They gave me, you know, they put me on prednisone, and then I got my sight back, and then everything was fine. And then I, then you know, for about four years later, I had another relapse, and that caused uh, my left leg not to work correctly. So um, then they put me on prednisone again, and um, I, it's just an up and down thing. You do require some aid in yes, walking. Yes, I've been using a cane for about 12 years now. Uh, otherwise, you're doing well? Yes, yes. Oh, that's Absolutely. great. Yeah. All right, Ken, let's talk about adaptive, what, what you're all about. Why it was so important for you to take part in this fundraiser that we're going to be talking about in just a few minutes. Well, we think cycling is a, a way for people to improve their health styles and their lifestyles and maintain their independence. Uh, it allows people to keep their legs strengthened even if they do have a disability. And because we have three wheels on the trike, it gives you a sta stable environment instead of a two-wheel bike. Now this is called a recumbent bike? A recumbent, right. You're seated. You're sitting backwards a little bit mm -hmm. so that um, it gives you a, a good plane to ride with. Um, this is built with a motor in the back. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was totally powered by a person. So this is has a power assist Okay. so that somebody that does have a disability can ride with anyone because they can use the power from the motor so that they can, even though they're strengthening their own legs, they also at the same time can keep up with other riders so it keeps them out on the trail. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, Louise, have you ever ridden in one of these? Yes, I have. You have. So yes. what's it like? Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Is it tough though to no, to navigate? Not at, all. not at all. Because you know, if I if it does get tough, then you can use the motor. We actually have some uh, video right there. Mm -hmm. So it, if it does get tough, you can use the motor. Have you had to use the motor? Just to back up. Just to back yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. How far can you go on this? Um, about 25 miles. That's great. Wow. And now, Ken, let's talk about the benefit of something like this for so many people. Well. Any kind of cycling or any kind of exercise is great for people. And the problem with a lot of people that have a disability is that they can't ride two, on a two-wheel bike. Uh, it's either too high off the ground or it's too far to fall or they get too tired out. So by having three wheels, you get a very stable environment. And by having the power assist engine, you can this ride can, with anyone. This can really help so many people with disabilities, not just folks with MS. Right. It's not just for MS, but it, that is one of the groupings of disabled that are really able to ride a bike more than others. Okay. Now, there's a fundraiser that's coming uh, on uh, September 12th at the Boathouse in Riverside in Harper and Louise. You're taking part in this? Absolutely. So tell us more about it. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just hoping that everybody else joins in. Yeah, we want you people know. to participate, exactly. right? Exactly. And I want people to know that just, just because they have a disability, they can do it. If they just try. And we know that one of my colleagues, Darren Kramer, is the Grand Marshal of this big event as well. Correct. And how many people do you expect to take part in this? We're we expecting more? 300 to 400 people. Well, it's, we want uh, more than that, don't air, we? It's, we'd like to get a lot more than that. Because we're raising money for MS. And it's in the greater Hartford area. It crosses the three bridges in Hartford, so that it's, it's a, a ride that typical people don't get to see. How long of a route is this? Basically? There's three rides. They're 25 miles, 50 miles, and 100 miles. So the adaptive people are riding 25 miles with uh, Connecticut Adapt Cycling has a team, uh, which Louise is uh, on our team in Hartford. Excellent. Uh, so we support MS throughout this whole thing, and and uh, tie trikes will have a number of trikes being ridden in in the event. So it's uh, 25 miles, 50 miles, and 100. 100. Of course, if you ride more miles, 
you raise more money for MS. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, so that's what that's the goal. <laughs> that's Wonderful. The goal. <laughs> let's tell everybody. Let's show the information right now. National MS Society of Connecticut Chapter 2012 Bike MS Cardio Express Ride is Sunday, September 9th at the historic boathouse in Riverside Park in Hartford. Or you can also go to the website ctfightsms.org. Louise, Ken, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you so here. much. Thank you. Looking forward to the big event. Thank you. Very good.